a buddy of mine and I, uh, he helps me with the with the jail. We, we help each other out, and we, we go out there and, and minister every week. And we were doing a baptism, and we were baptizing, I believe, 30 men uh, that that afternoon, men that we had led to the Lord, and we had sat down and talked about baptism, and we're... And we're doing it, and he came to us, and he said, can you just, can you just, he was very country, he was like, can you hold me a little longer under there? And I was like, how long? He was like, just, I, I just want to have some time to pray. And I was like, okay, sure. So we would just bring him down and, and bring him up, and he's crying, and he's praising, and off he goes his way. And I was like, okay, that's, that was sweet. That was awesome. Okay. And then a few a few months later, I'm back in the jail preaching, and I'm teaching on baptism. We're like, "Hey guys, we're gonna do a baptism, and and this this is what it is." And and that that gentleman that, that had asked us to hold him underwater, good, uh, he stands up and he says, "Yo, you guys need to listen to them because baptism is something powerful. You guys don't understand how powerful baptism is." And, and I was like, "You know, just." You've been baptized. Tell us about it. He said, I was here in jail planning about how I was going to get out and murder my sister. But then since I got baptized, the moment I got out of that water, I just call my sister every night and tell her I just love her and Jesus love her. And he did something in my life. So y'all should pay attention and go get baptized. And I just thought, that's incredible. That is amazing what the Lord does. Bye-bye.